In today's video, I'm going to show you a really useful circuit, especially if you are a handyman, electrician, or someone who is very concerned about electromagnetic fields in and around their home. Now, what makes this circuit so useful is its ability to detect electromagnetic fields. Now, the main purpose that I use this for is for tracing 120 volt or 240 volt electrical wiring inside of walls or even under floors. Now, how this is able to do that, you have this sensor at the end, which is a 1 millihenry inductor. It is a radial inductor. If you do not have a digital multimeter for measuring inductance, it's going to be very difficult for you to make one of these. Now, you could find an inductor like this inside of a lot of televisions and other electronics. And if the value is not 1 millihenry, you can always rewind this particular inductor. It has a ferrite core, and the wire I used is around 23 gauge. Now, the most useful feature of this particular circuit is its ability to locate AC mains wiring, 120 or 240 volts, within walls or under concrete floors, as long as it's in Romex or PVC piping. You will easily be able to pinpoint with very good accuracy the location of the path of the wire using this circuit. Now the way to make the AC mains wiring get picked up very easily is you're going to have to introduce some sort of a noise into the circuit. Now if a motor is running this does a good job at detecting the wiring. If a transformer is running if you get it close enough you can detect it but the absolute best way to detect the wiring is to use a compact fluorescent light. Now these are notorious for being very noisy, electrically noisy, and what you're going to do is if you have a light fixture, you're going to screw in this light bulb into the light fixture, and then you're going to turn on the wall switch. Once that switch is turned on and this is powered up, you will be able to take this device and trace the wire from the wall switch no matter where it goes to the point where it gets to that light and it will pinpoint with very good accuracy. It will also show you the line where the power comes from leading to the wall switch and it will show you from the wall switch to the light. So if you would like to be able to trace the wire within a wall or floor to be able to locate a position that you would like to cut the wall this is what you're going to need. It works excellent. Now if you're not using a light and you would like to trace a line going to a receptacle or a 220 volt appliance, you would simply take this bulb, put it inside of a drop light, and then you could plug this into the electrical receptacle, and you will be able to trace that entire line using this detector. If you're using a 240 volt line, just make up a little rig to be able to connect this to one leg of the 220 line to the neutral or the ground, and you'll be able to trace that 220 volt line using the compact fluorescent light and this detector. This will also work on PVC pipe. So if you have a PVC pipe outside your home that's supplying power to a, an electrical receptacle or exterior lighting and you're trying to locate the path of that pipe and it's buried in the ground, as long as it's not buried too deeply and you hold this sensor fairly close to the soil and you have a compact fluorescent light screwed into the light fixture or hooked up to a drop light which is plugged into the receptacle that you want to trace you will be able to pinpoint the location of that buried pipe. What I'm going to do now is demonstrate how well this circuit works. I'm going to have two links. The original link for the electromagnetic radiation detector which I modified and a second link which is going to show you what you see here which is the one that that I use in my detector I modified the original I removed part of the circuit I took the output that was going to the headphones and I fed that into an LM386 amplifying circuit which then goes into the headphones so you're getting a lot of amplification from this circuit this circuit uses an operational amplifier I didn't have the one the schematic called for, 
So I use a TL072, which worked perfectly. All right, you can listen to the transformer on the microwave. Pinpoint exactly where the transformer is. And an electrical meter. Alright, so you want to trace the wire going from the switch to the light. Alright, just to show you the ceiling going down to a light on the wall. You want to find out exactly where that wire is running. The light bulbs in that fixture are compact fluorescent bulbs. Now once I turn the switch on, the compact fluorescent bulbs are going to put noise into the AC line and then we will be able to trace exactly where the power supply is coming in and the line going out to the light. Now before I put the sensor there to show you, the power supply wires are located above the electrical box, the incoming power and the outgoing to the light. There is nothing below the switch going to the light and the power is not coming in from below the switch. So you're going to see with the tester, with the detector, the power line is going to be one along the wood behind the wall and one in the center. So one is power coming in and one is power going to the light. All right, we'll turn on the unit. Let's start below. And now let's go this way. There's one wire there. And another one there. Let's go much higher up. one right there. So as you can see it's very easy to trace where your electrical wires are running just as long as you're using a compact fluorescent light and the circuit that you want to test. If you enjoyed watching this video please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also don't forget to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you.